Charlotte's Hip and Crafty Hip and welcome. Today I want to share a quick jewelry tutorial with y'all about how to wire wrap a briolette. All a briolette is is a teardrop shaped bead that is top drilled. Top drill means that the hole goes across the top of the bead like this and not up and down. This is an up and down one which is called a center drill. So that's all it is. It can be a little tricky, take a little practice, but with time and effort, um, you can get it. Now, all of mine don't come out the same because, you know, it's something that, depending on the wire, depending on what bead you're using, it can all turn out a little bit differently. So practice. If it doesn't work, cut that wire off, do it again. Easy peasy. Keep in mind when you're working with gemstone or stone beads that the drills on them can be a little inconsistent and you might want to try a thinner gauge wire. So just keep in mind your wire gauge when you're working with your holes and I've got some 24 gauge wire as well as chain nose pliers, wire cutters, and round nose pliers. And that's about all you need. So we're going to get started. I have a good length of wire here so I can make my wrap as pretty or as fun as I want. So I'm going to start with that. And the f basically all you do is you take your end of your wire, you're going to insert it through that top drilled hole, like so. You don't have to insert it very far, just enough to bring that wire up, like so, that it crisscrosses across the top of your bead. Then you're going to take that short wire and bend it out at a 90 degree angle from your bead and bend that top wire straight up so they make like an L. Then you can either hold this with your hands or with your chain nose pliers like so so that that bottom wire goes along your pliers and make a wrap. You can wrap this as few or as many times, I recommend two or more wraps just to get it secure. Once that is wrapped, take your wire cutters and trim off that wire, making sure you catch that end so it doesn't go flying anywhere. And then I like to take my chain nose pliers and just tuck that in, make sure it is secure and not sticking out and poking anywhere like so. From there you are going to just bend this top wire out. Now depending on what way you want this bead to face that's going to determine which way you bend it. But for just right now sake we're just going to bend that out along with the bead. Now we bring in our chain nose pliers and basically we're just going to make a wrapped loop. So we insert our wire just where that bend, I mean our pliers right where that bend is. Bend this up and over your chain nose, I mean your round nose pliers. Adjust those as needed and finish your loop. Just like so. So I have a nice little loop here. My wire wants to get in frame is being silly. Now, you're going to, just like with a wrap loop, just wrap down some. And you can stop, once you get two to three wraps on there, you can stop and call that a day. Trim that, tuck it, be done. Just like that. Or you can get a little more fancy and wrap it down your wire and over your bead. I'm going to do that. This takes a little bit of time, especially when your wire is being squirrely. And just keep wrapping. Just like so. I like to do it about to where the holes were drilled. Just to kind of cover that up a little bit. I'm going to do that with my hands here. That makes it a little bit better for me. All right, so here it is wrapped just like that. You can also bring it back up to fill in any gaps, make it feel a little more sturdy. 
make it as messy or as exact as you want and then to finish it off and some people do like to add decorative accents bring their wire down up and across some of them depending on the thickness of the wire will do little curly cues on it that's not completely my style I just like to get the wrap nice and secure and let the bead speak for itself but then you trim that and then tuck your wire and just like that you have a wire wrapped briolette now like I said there are different ways to finish that you can have it wrapped with just a messy wrap so it's still that bead is still moving around some just like these here there are lots of possibilities but the basic technique of it is insert that wire bring it up cross it bend one down bend one up wrap make your loop and wrap around from there it's all up to you how you accent it if you have any questions about this do not hesitate to ask me below I will be happy to answer them to the best of my ability I hope you've enjoyed this and it has helped you out in your jewelry making journey. Make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see y'all later.